Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Desiree if you're new here and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my experience thus far being a John Jay student and basically if I would recommend it because I know a lot of you guys are getting college acceptances soon and I'm not sure if John Jay is rolling. I'm pretty sure it is rolling admissions but I know especially for seniors you're picking your colleges and I have a lot to say about the school and a lot of good things and then a few other things that I think are important to mention. We're going to get into it. I have categories of what I want to talk about. Also also, peep the little John Jay pop socket. I actually got that on my first day of school. So a little background on me. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Long Island, New York. So I do commute, but this semester I'm actually fully online. So I did one semester commuting in person with a couple online classes. And then this semester I decided to do fully online because the commute was getting expensive. And if I was able to do fully online, I was just going to go with it. And I am. So I've just been kind of going with the flow of that. And my major is culture, crime, and deviance. And we'll talk about that a bit more as well. My career goals work in law enforcement and work against human trafficking. Those are the goals that I have. So that is why I chose that specific major because culture, crime, and deviance helps me to understand a bunch of different cultures. And then of course, understanding how crime intersects with all of it and just deviance overall. I mean, it's, it's kind of straightforward what the major is about, but yeah, we're going to talk about the experience. We're going to go through professors and education quality, networking opportunities, social opportunities, the dorming situation, because it might be a bit confusing, price tuition, and like the unique experiences that you have from it. So professors and the education quality. I would say the education quality is an absolute 10 out of 10, especially for the price of tuition. Being an in-state student, it's the same price for me as that I paid for community college. I'm currently an upper junior, which just means I'm in my second semester in my junior year and I went to community college for my freshman and sophomore years and then I transferred. The education has been absolutely incredible. The thing that makes John Jay so unique is that the people that are teaching you these courses have done the things that they're actually teaching you. So if you're learning about, like I took a class on police and diversity, I was learning it from a retired cop who worked within NYPD. And to me, I think the kind of experience that you get being in New York in law enforcement and then being able to teach on that is super freaking powerful. One thing I will really recommend to all of you is utilizing Rate My Professor. It is a website where you can type in the professor at whatever school they're teaching at. This can go for any school you're going to, but you can specifically search up in John Jay, like the professors they have. And it's going to basically give them a five star like one to five star rating review it's all anonymous and people can write exactly like what the semester looks like how the professor is and it does a few different rankings and just if they would recommend taking the course I swear by rate my professor that is the only way that I will take a professor's class there is one professor though that I am taking this semester that I could not find a rate my professor I'm like okay she must be new so I searched her up on LinkedIn she seemed like she had good <laughs> good energy from what I was getting at from her LinkedIn. I did take her course and she's an amazing professor. I'm now 10 classes in to John Jay and I love all the professors that I have had. Some I've enjoyed their classes more than others. The thing with fully online courses is that sometimes the professor is pretty absent from the course. Like they can still keep uploading assignments, but you can tell they're just not that involved. And then other courses, they're a lot more involved where they have pre-recorded lectures, which I really like. So it kind of just depends. Like utilize Rate My Professor because I know busy work can be so annoying when you have like a full-time job or you know you just are trying to really find a professor that works with your type of learning style rate my professor is going to be great also too the education quality is incredible because you can have a niche major as i was telling you my major is culture crime and deviance i don't think that major literally exists anywhere else and that is going to set you apart from other people or don't feel like too if you want to just go for criminal justice that's a bad thing that's not what i'm saying at all but i'm just saying if you know there's a specific area that you want to work on within criminal justice it's very helpful like for me wanting to work against human trafficking and in law enforcement in general I want to have as much education and knowledge on different cultures and the history of crime which you will learn about in criminal justice obviously as a major but it's really allowed me to expand my knowledge in ways that I never thought possible because it's basically anthropology courses but not anthropology in the way you think it's basically all anthropology within crime and deviance super interesting and I'm absolutely loving the classes that I'm taking and learning about the history of the world and of our country oh it's just so freaking interesting I love it I love that you can pick niche down majors within criminal justice and you can also choose from a variety of minors as well like let's say you want to do criminal justice as your major and then minor in something a little bit more specific you can minor in homeland security you can minor in spanish you can minor in political science english theater media like there are so many different things as well that you can major in networking opportunities john jay this is another unique experience with john jay is that it is in new york city so you're going to have the most insane networking events in the best way possible and 
and every semester they do a networking events kind of a career fair so a bunch of different police departments will come from all over the country and then they'll have like secret service they'll have military they'll have fbi they'll have cia just like a bunch of different people and agencies and just a just so many different areas of things within criminal justice for you to network and meet these people get more information and introduce yourself which i think is awesome i mean how many schools that have a major of criminal justice are going to actually have you get opportunities to meet with recruiting fbi you know it's it's just something that really sets john jay apart and if your career is something that you're not looking to negotiate on like you have plans and you want to get them done and it's in the criminal justice field seriously look no further like this is the school you got to go to social opportunities so i will say that is the one thing that this school lacks because they don't have technical dorms like the social experience was something that i found i didn't have which is why transitioning from being in person this last semester to being online this semester i didn't really see i don't feel any different of oh i'm missing out on all these like social experiences and opportunities i'm really not a lot of people talk in the whatsapp group chats for the classes they send out an invite via email you add yourself to the whatsapp chat and then if people have questions about the course or questions about the school in general you can feel free to ask in those group chats and that's what you utilize them for last semester when i was in person i wasn't really there to make friends i was just kind of getting my work done and going and everyone that goes to that school i don't want to say everybody but a good majority commute they live in the city or in the tri-state area and they are just grinding with work school and all of that like we are all on the go and that's just kind of the new york lifestyle is just really being on the go i would say the social opportunities is somewhere that it lacks like if you're looking for a traditional college experience Experience. First of all, being in New York City, you're not going to get that, but you're going to get a really cool, unique college experience. Going to somewhere like John Jay, which is a commuter school, you're going to have that lack of social opportunities. I'm not saying it's impossible. I didn't put in any effort because again, like as I said, a lot of us are just there to go get our classes done, go home and go to work, you know, get our things done. So for me, it just wasn't at the top of my priority list. I'm also a bit older. I'm 22. So for me, I just am kind of ready to, you know, get through my degree. A lot of people too, I would say that were friends in college that I noticed they went to community college together or high school together just saying but again you can still make friends like I'm not saying you can't <laughs> it's just a little bit harder than a traditional college environment um the dorming situation is a bit weird in 2020 they got rid of their dorms and now you have to go either through EHS housing which is their type of student housing and there's a few other places I know that City College also does dorms for John Jay students as well so there's definitely dorming opportunities it's just gonna be like it's not directly with John Jay it's gonna be with a student housing organization or another college that allows John Jay students to dorm there's more information about that on their website the dorming situation is a bit weird but keep in mind that for the city it's pretty normal to have to take the subway to get somewhere so even when I commute into the city I take the train and then I take a subway to college so it's not too tough and I will say every time I take the subway I'm with so many other students literally every single time and all of us are taking that same route to get to the campus campus of John Jay. The school also is very clean. It's very big. There's so many stories. It's big for New York City, I guess is what I would say. I think Columbia has an actual campus in the city. It doesn't have an actual campus, but it's a big building. And then there's two buildings that are here with like a big opening, which has an outdoor space as well with stairs. Like there is space, you know, they have a gym, they have clubs as well. So if you are looking to get involved socially, there are a bunch of clubs too. So if you're not commuting and you're living there, you can definitely make friends through that. And they also have like plays or musicals that they do as well that you can audition for and sports teams I mean there are all of those opportunities but as I kind of said like I'm there to get my work done and leave <laughs> at the moment this current stage of my life so that's kind of how the dorming situation is I kind of touched on price and tuition you really can't beat the price I because of my transfer scholarship I'm actually paying less to go to John Jay than I paid for my associate's degree going to community college the price is amazing I think even if you're out of state like it's still pretty affordable i would say compared to private schools and just other schools in general very good pricing you really can't beat it and at the end of the day like john jay is an affordable school but you're also getting like unique opportunities of networking you're also getting unique opportunities of having professors that are in the field and have done the jobs that you want to do and really like take advantage of that like utilize the fact that your professors have done the things that you want to do feel free to reach out ask them questions i've hopped on zoom with professors before i've asked other professors for advice on things and they're always there to help you and give you any 
answers to help you figure out your career path. But I think that's basically everything I wanted to touch on with John Jay. If you guys have any other questions, I can definitely answer them in the comments or make another video if they are like a bunch of questions that I didn't touch on. But I think those are the most important things. I would say out of five stars, I'd rate John Jay a solid four out of five. I think the only thing that kind of sucks is obviously the dorming. So it kind of gives you that lack of social experience. But I promise you there are so many people in New York City if you're living there to go to John Jay, you're gonna make friends and find things to do. And really enjoy the college itself. I think it is just a very unique experience and I've loved going to the school. So I think it's been great. I'd give it a nice four out of five stars. Yeah, I think that's basically it. As I said, any other questions, leave them in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped and be sure to subscribe to see more content from me. But that's basically it and I will see you guys next time. Bye.